the entrance antiphon. A child shall be born for us, and he will be called God the Almighty. Every tribe of the earth shall be blessed in him. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters, as we are so close to celebrating the birth of our Lord, let us enter into this holy mass of preparation with pure hearts by calling to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, as we see how the nativity of your Son, according to the flesh, draws near, we pray that to us, your unworthy servants, mercy may flow from your word, who chose to become flesh of the Virgin Mary and establish among us his dwelling. Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever, Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Malachi. Thus says the Lord God, Lo, I am sending my messenger to prepare the way before me. And suddenly there will come to the temple the Lord whom you seek, and the messenger of the covenant whom you desire. Yes, he is coming, says the Lord of hosts, but who will endure the day of his coming, and who can stand when he appears? For he is like the refiner's fire, or like the fuller's lie. He will sit refining and purifying silver, and he will purify the sons of Levi, refining them like gold or like silver, that they may offer due sacrifice to the Lord. Then the sacrifice of Judah and Jerusalem will please the Lord. And as in days of old, as in years gone by, lo, I will send you, Elijah the prophet, before the day of the Lord comes, the great and terrible day, to turn the hearts of the fathers to their children and the hearts of the children to their fathers, lest I come and strike the land with doom. The word of the Lord. The responsorial psalm, lift up your heads and see, your redemption is near at hand. Lift up your hands and see, your redemption is near at hand. Your ways, O Lord, make known to me, Teach me your paths, guide me in your truth, and teach me, for you are God, my Savior. Lift up your heads and see your redemption near at hand. Good and upright is the Lord, thus he shows sinners the way. He guides the humble to justice, he teaches the humble his way. Lift up your heads and see your redemption is near at hand. All the paths of the Lord are kindness and constancy toward those who keep his covenant and his decrees. The friendship of the Lord is with those who fear him and his covenant for their instruction. Lift up your heads and see your redemption is near at hand. Alleluia, 
Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, O King of all nations and keystone of the church, come and save man whom you formed from the dust. Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. When the time arrived for Elizabeth to have her child, she gave birth to a son. Her neighbors and relatives heard that the Lord had shown his great mercy toward her, and they rejoiced with her. When they came on the eighth day to circumcise the child, they were going to call him Zachariah after his father. But his mother said in reply, No, he will be called John. But they answered her, There is no one among your relatives who has this name. So they made signs, asking his father what he wished him to be called. He asked for a tablet and wrote, John is his name, and all were amazed. Immediately his mouth was opened, his tongue freed, and he spoke, blessing God. Then fear came upon all their neighbors, and all these matters were discussed throughout the hill country of Judea. All who heard these things took them to heart, saying, What then will this child be? For surely the hand of the Lord was with him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you. Lift up your heads and see your redemption is near at hand. Today in the the Gospel we have the beautiful birth of our patron, St. John the Baptist. And our church receives its name as long as our patron receiving its name as well. With great joy, this signals, as the forerunner is born, signals the imminent coming of our Lord. Merry Christmas Eve, Eve, right? Right around the corner, we await a Savior. And so just as those who delighted in the birth of John the Baptist in the past, they discussed all these things, they took them to heart, what then will this child be? These same questions should fill our hearts. Fear came upon all their neighbors, the matters were discussed, and we took these things to heart saying, what then will this child be? Our great patron, the the forerunner, the pointer to the Messiah, we rejoice in his birth, and we imitate the faith of his parents. So Elizabeth was the first to stand up and say, no, his name is John. This took great courage for a woman of her time. It was standard, customary, that the first child ought to be named after the father. Uh, it was just the, the custom of the time. And so for her to, to go against that custom took great courage. Uh, she knew that the child in her womb uh, that had just, she had just given birth to was special, was called by God. And then Zechariah, right, who because of his doubt had lost the use of his speech, had been struck uh, speechless at the message of the angel because of his doubt, had all these nine months to ponder this message of the angel and the mysteries of God. And as soon as he made this act of faith, his John, John is his name, his tongue was freed, and the first thing he used it for was to bless God. So too, when we may have doubts about our abilities or the gifts that God has given us, even something as simple as our speech, um, we must remember that these gifts are first and foremost for his glory. And he's given them to us so we might use them to bless and glorify him. And truly they find their fullest fulfillment. Our gifts find their truest and and greatest fulfillment. greatest iteration when we use them to glorify the Lord, when we use them for his glory and not just for our selfishness or in in our own doubt. And so right after this passage, uh, Zechariah goes on with the beautiful prayer of the Benedictus, blessed be God, um, and blesses God in one of the most beautiful prayers recorded in scriptures. So too today, as we joyfully await 
the expectation, with, with joyful expectation, the coming of our Savior. Um, we put our whole selves, we put all of our gifts and talents here at the, His service, so that He might, uh, God might be glorified, and we might be ready to receive with joy um, this great Savior who longs to come to us. Let us uh, rejoice in the birth and the naming of our patron, John the Baptist. Let us rejoice all the more tomorrow at the coming of our Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. As we look forward to celebrating the coming of the infant Jesus, we join our hearts in prayer and present our petitions to the Father. For Pope Francis and all the clergy, may God give them the spiritual and physical strength to minister to God's people. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our world, may Christ's peace touch the hearts of leaders and lead them to harmony. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are alone during this time of rejoicing, may God show them his tender love and inspire others to reach out to them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this faith community, may the grace of the sacraments nurture and strengthen the bonds of charity among us. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, may God welcome them into their eternal home in heaven. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray especially for Megan Geyer, for whom this Mass is offered. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all those prayers and petitions which we mention now in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Loving Father, we present our prayers to you as we look forward with gratitude to celebrating the gift of your Son. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Let's be God forever. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands, the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May this oblation, by which divine worship in its fullness has been inaugurated for us, be our perfect reconciliation with you, O Lord, that we may celebrate with minds made pure the nativity of our Redeemer. 
who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For all the oracles of the prophets foretold him. The Virgin Mother longed for him with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity, so that he may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in his praise. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, 
And as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church in recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. John the Baptist, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Paul, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, Formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
communion antiphon. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door to me, I will enter his house and will dine with him and he with me. Let us pray. Grant your peace, O Lord, to those you have nourished with these heavenly gifts, that we may be ready with lighted lamps to meet your dearly beloved Son at his coming, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reminder, there will not be 7.30 Mass tomorrow in observance of Jesus' birthday, so you can come for uh, uh, Christmas Eve instead of morning Mass, uh, and then... Christmas Day, the following day. May you and your families have a a wonderful, blessed Christmas, and I hope to celebrate with you this beautiful season in great joy. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. St. Michael, the Archangel, 